What's going on guys? Welcome back to the High PSI Performance Channel. Today, we've got uh, this 2015, maybe it's 16, uh, Mustang GT in. Uh, we're gonna get rolling on a Boss 302 manifold on this thing and a clutch. Um, this car has been in before. I don't remember for what exactly, but uh, I know we dynoed it before. So, uh, it's here for some more upgrades. There's the uh, manifold, and then got the clutch over there. And then, uh, check it out. Made some changes to the Gremlin. Uh, had a buddy that was parting out his uh, first gen race car, so I ended up copping uh, this fuel cell from him. So now we've removed the fuel tank out of the back of the car, which 12 gallon tank. Shed about 100 pounds out of the back of the car and then added, I don't know, somewhere around 18, 19 pounds back to the front. So that's pretty cool. Got the uh, Airmotive Eliminator pump on it and uh, got it all plumbed up and up and running. So um, going to do an oil change and tidy up a few other things on the car. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get the Gremlin back on the dyno. Uh, make sure everything's lined back out and then uh, everybody you know is going back to uh, work and stuff this coronavirus is slowly dissipating so the race tracks are gonna they've already our local track is already open back up so uh, we're gonna be heading out to the track again and see if we can't uh, squeeze a deep nine on out of her with uh, some of the new changes so we'll go ahead and get after this intake as you can see, we got the uh, manifold on, injector swapped over, rail swapped over. Um, got a few things to button up as far as uh, some of the vacuum lines and so forth. But uh, one thing I wanted to point out to you guys really quick, um, whether you bought your Boss 302 brand new or not, <clears throat> on the brand new ones, there's um, basically little tits. <laughs> little tits. Um, and they're basically like locators that, here I'll grab the stock throttle body here. <clears throat> that those go into, and that would be right here and right here, I believe. So when the throttle body is mounted on, it kind of centers and, and locates the stock throttle body uh, to the intake manifold on the Boss 302. Well, this customer is upgrading yeah. Oh, bless me. Um, this stock throttle body, or excuse me, this car is not getting a stock throttle body. It's getting a, a BBK 85 millimeter power plus series throttle body. And if you notice on the back of this throttle body, there are no provisions for that. So in order to get this throttle body to bolt up, like so, we had to remove both of those uh, locators. So. Just in case you didn't know or you went to go install your throttle body and you were like, man, this thing won't seal up, that's why. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this throttle body mounted up and then uh, we'll uh, wrap it up and get started on the clutch. All right, guys, uh, so we got the clutch down on this thing and <gasps> John's back. Anyways. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of clutch material and uh, the slave cylinder is not happy. It just kind of falls apart there. And we've seen that and then we turned around to look at the uh, pressure plate and wow. That's just fucked up. So I can see why he was saying the clutch didn't work. Um, but we'll get this pulled apart and get the exit of the unit. Oh, focus. Exit of the unit to uh, put in the car. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, guys, as you can see, um, the clutch is all done. We put that exity in there. I ain't bother really showing it to you. Uh, you know, it's a single disc, just kind of a little bit better than stock replacements. Nothing too special. But uh, if you see what the clutch that came out of it looked like after we got it out, uh, 
What clutch? Yeah. So, got everything cleaned up and put that extra unit in and then we're wrapping up the install uh, with the Boss 302 manifold. And pretty much everything's wrapped up. The last thing we have to do is plug this one and this one. Um, they're used for the manifold runner control and the vacuum operation of all that stuff. Um, so they're no longer needed now with the boss manifold. So plug this one up, plug this one up, and then uh, that's going to wrap up the manifold and clutch install. It's alive! So this morning we got the caps for the intake um, from the ports that aren't used anymore. We got those capped up, just fired right up. So just gonna once over the car one more time and then uh, get a walk around of the car outside. We got one more thing to do uh, on these 2015s. When you do the Boss 302, uh, manifold you also have to either a they sell two companies sell motor mounts that drop the motor down a little bit um, you can go that route or the other route is to actually trim the hood out right here so we're gonna cut a little square out right there so that way the hood closes correctly and then uh, that'll be it all right guys so that's gonna wrap it up for the Mustang. Just to recap one more time, we did the uh, XD clutch on this thing and then did the Boss 302 intake manifold. So now she's back on the road. Get her back to uh, 